Hey, beautiful people. I got to do a voiceover because when I went to watch this and do the edits, the volume or the audio was off. I don't know what happened. So I had to cut off a lot. Um, it's a little over 10 minutes. The total thing was like 38 minutes, which I'm glad I cut it down. So this is me washing clothes with my new setup in my kitchen. Um, because I had to cut this down, there was a part that I wish y'all would have saw, but I'll tell you about it. So this is the hair thing I got from the hair store. It was $3.99. Make sure you've secured that on there really good. Um, it did pop off one time. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I was just pretty much setting up so you guys can see the whole process. Um, you know what? I need to turn my phone and not have it turned this way because you can't really see. Um, that's the cord I got for less than $10 at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Excuse my kitchen. It's junky. I'm cleaning up and getting rid of stuff and doing projects. And I was supposed to do that first before filming, but I was like, I can do this all at the same time. So um, I got the cord and it's just for this washing machine. So um, it's not going to be with nothing else, just this. So it worked out great. And I really, really like it. It has the cloth um, cord. So you pretty much know what I'm doing. I'm about to go give it some power. This one does not have the um, button. That I guess it's a safety button or something where after you plug it up, you click it and turn it on and click it and turn it off. And it's supposed to, I guess, turn it off if it's, something's going crazy. You know, my first video, when I first got out, I didn't cut it on. I thought the washing machine was broken. <laughs> this does not have that, but I mean, I'm okay with that. I just, I needed this one to be a certain length and I need to be just for the washing machine. And I found it. And the cheapest place was unbelievably Walmart. Um, so yeah, that's that on that. And just me showing you that it worked out great and it had slack in it. So I did pretty good. Cause you know, I can't measure nothing and it fits, it plugs in well with the plug from my freezer. And y'all keep in mind, I live in an old apartment, so you go see some weird stuff. And as I was doing this, I, like I mentioned earlier, my knobs don't have something indicating what I'm pointing to after the 30 days, I am definitely going to, um, get something to put on the knobs. And the reason why I say after 30 days, because I want to make sure that I'm going to keep it. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. So, you know, that's the water going into it. And it was the great length because it's hanging in and all the water's going in. So let me tell you what happened, right? That's why I said, this is, this is great to be in the kitchen. This is a wonderful idea. So here I am putting water. I don't know if it's doing this time or what, putting water inside of the um basin. Hey, listen, this thing, gets fat. Like if you put water in it, look at the front of it and it looks like the front of it starts to poke out a little bit, I guess, because of the water. I like a lot of water, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. Somebody else in one of the videos said the same thing. So, um, I don't know if this is it right here or what I was doing, but you see that water hose? I went to, normally what I do is it has gentle, normal drain. So I always turn it to the left of gentle first to make sure I'm not on drain. And that joker, I turned it thinking I was on normal coming out of gentle and that water went flying on my counter on my stove. That's the scoop, the um, scoop I got from Dollar Tree years ago that I've just used. It's in my bucket. And that one was the one I would take to the large mat. That water went flying everywhere, but it was okay because I wiped my floors and my counter and my, my stove. And I was good. I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this needs to be, where is that? And I'm using my doggone game, man. Let me tell you something. This thing smells amazing. I forgot to use vinegar. I still want to use vinegar because I want that soft smell. I mean, that soft feel to my clothes. And I'm pretty much here just, I'm hoping this audio is right. Because I'm doing this dog one thing and I don't know what it's going to sound like, but we'll see when I audit, when I audit, when I edit the video. So I'm just pretty much loading water up, making sure that I have enough water. I like a lot of water. Um, I'm not going to load this thing up with a lot of clothes. Um, I just think it washed better, but you do have the capacity to do so. To each his own. And this is just what my setup looks like. I just want to show you guys what it looks like and show you every angle. Because while I was doing this, I was actually thinking of what I'm going to change, what I'm going to keep in the whole nine yards. That water was coming out strong. Listen, the hair store, the Chinese hair store, $3.99. Every time I can find something, I'm going to definitely let you guys know.
and on my table. And that was my drink and my um, lunch. <laughs> so um, what I was doing here, I have that curtain like that because I would not be washing clothes this time of day. This is the middle of the day. The office is open. The maintenance man is nosy. all get out. By the time I edit this video, I'm done. And what I'm doing is putting it by the door to drain. Now, um, my last wash, which I did not show, I went ahead and stuck the holes in the kitchen sink. And I can feel that pump pumping harder because it had to go up and then go down. Um, I'm not a fan of that, but I just wanted to see what it was like. What I think I'm going to do is um, when it's time to drain it, instead of taking it back to rinse it to the sink, I'm going to just have like a big pot of water. And while it's draining, just pour that big pot of water in there to rinse their clothes off, which there's not no surge or anything, but I still want to rinse it off. And then while it's draining, do it all at one time. The back and forth, I think is going to be tedious. I'm trying to make this easy because so far to me, it's a lot of work, but that's just me. So, um, yeah. And I was spinning it earlier, but I really couldn't get a feel for it to see because it felt like it was vibrating under my feet. But when I do another wash, when it's spinning, I'm going to go stand I had it, no, the hose was in the kitchen sink, yeah. So I'm going to have something in the kitchen sink holding that hose, and I'm going to stand by my wall to see the vibration, if I can feel it. Because like I said, I do not want my neighbor to feel the vibration. So that was me just securing the hole, um, just the hole, the holes, which I'm about to go and buy something to cover that hose, because I don't want any rips or tears in it. And as you can see, I was trying to block what it was, because all they can see is a hole of water coming out of it. They don't know what it is. I don't have nosy neighbors like that, but the lady that lives behind me was packing up her car. I don't know if the baby's going out of town or she's moving or what the case may be. So I had to make sure that it was secure because that water comes out and that pump pumps and it pumps hard. And I'm trying to make it so easy on this machine. So today was one of those days where I was, you know, doing a trial run, making sure everything is okay. There are some things I'm going to change after watching it. And of course I will share that with you guys. So this is what it looks like when it is draining and me covering up what it is. I don't know if I'm going to wash late at night or early in the morning, but you know. And I was trying to show y'all that the hose is outside and I have it in between like the step down in my brick. So it's holding the hose, but I had to do it lightly because I don't want that hose to rip or get a hole in it. And that's why I'm going to find something, another hose to put over it to secure it. So I'm definitely going to make sure I get that done. Matter of fact, when, I done, when I'm done editing this and check your emails, I'm going to um, go do that. I got to figure out how long this hose is. But that was me trying to show you guys. And once again, rolling that baby <clears throat> across the floor back to what needs to get done. Y'all, when that water came flying at that hose, I was like, oh my gosh. There are some actual, um, what do you call them, S-hooks. Just the way I'm saying it, that's just what it looked like. And they offer those um, at Lowe's or Home Depot. I've seen them at the Dollar Tree. I may go to Walmart and get some. And I just, I, they're at the hardware store. I know they are. So I'm going to go and get some stuff to hang on there. Like one or two of the clips or whatever um, to kind of hold like the power cord when I'm moving it. Because I don't want to roll over it. And that's just me rinsing. That's all I'm doing. I'm just rinsing the clothes. And I generally don't see a sudge on it, but I still would rather rinse it. Because sometimes it looks like the clothes are sparkling. And I don't want that. Y'all, let me tell you what I did. I don't know if you just noticed. The water was still on. So I was rinsing the clothes. And when I went to put the thing I was rinsing the clothes with back inside of the sink, instead of cutting the water off, I had water fly across the place because I did that. I was like, what? You? I'm, a lot going on. A lot going on. Trying to process everything. But yeah, you pretty much know what I'm doing. So I don't know if I'm going to do the back and forth or just drain it and have a pot of water ready to, um, to just throw it in there while it's draining and rinse it at the same time instead of going back and forth. And I'm not a fan of letting it go into my sink to one that's dirty water. And I know I can disinfect it, but that pump, I don't want it to work no harder than it has to. So I'd rather just lay it out and have the higher mach the machine sits a little high. So the pump, not the pump, the holes hang. So when the pump pump, it doesn't have to pump as hard because the water's already draining out. That's what I'm sticking with. And of course I'm look like I'm just, I'm fighting because the clothes was just mangled. But I mean, it is what it is. I got the job done. Now, what I did notice was it did shake a lot when it was on this rack 
And being that it was on a wire rack and it looks too stable, so I got a piece of board to the bottom, I am going to add the bars and some other stuff. So picture is what I did after the video. It worked great. And when I upgrade it and make sure I secure it really good, I'll definitely do a video. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.